before I can call quit. Well, wouldn't it be nice if I could just call the quit method off of my parent object, even though um, even though it's typed object, um, but because I know that there should be a quit method on there, wouldn't it be nice if I could just do that? Well, the next feature I'm going to chat with you about um, allows you to do just that. Uh, this feature is called dynamic binding. Um, essentially, what this does is this allows you to um, tell the compiler that, hey, there really is a quit method on this object that I'm giving you. So at runtime, go ahead and bind against um, bind to that quit method for me. At compile time, you're not going to do any checks for me, so you're not going to verify that I actually do have that quit method. But uh, I know that it's there, so go ahead and do it for me. So what that means is we're going to, instead of typing this guy's object, we're going to type this guy as dynamic. And so dynamic really is just a uh, wrapper for object. It, you know, essentially everything in metadata gets represented as if it was object, um, but just at compile time, the keyword dynamic is a hint to the compiler that says, hey, uh, do the type checking for this at runtime instead. Uh, sorry, first I'm going to get rid of this little line here that I don't need. Okay, so because my object is type dynamic, I no longer need to cast it to the appropriate word interface in order for the compiler to uh, bind against it. So I can just go ahead and remove this cast and leave my call to quit there and rebuild. And let's just validate that everything runs. And it indeed runs exactly as I would expect. So those are really the three main features that we've introduced to make your COM code a lot cleaner. You know, if we scroll back up and take a look at everything that we've done so far, um, everything really is a whole lot cleaner, right? Now I've got this simple call to add right here. Um, and you know, I'm not passing any arguments to it, so you can clearly see that I'm not doing that. And it's a whole lot easier for me to read. You know, same with my property access, right? I no longer have to have all this get underscore business um, written everywhere. I can even uh, use the indexer uh, syntax to call the setter as well. So I just have an assignment statement instead of a set member access and all that kind of stuff. And so that's a whole lot cleaner as well. And this last scenario, um, instead of having to cast all the objects coming out, which we typically do in the Office APIs, um, I can just simply dynamically dot off of them and tell the compiler that, hey, you know, there really is a quit method off of here, so just go ahead and do that. And so as you can see, we've really tried to make your COM code a lot cleaner so that it really still looks like you're writing C Sharp, um, despite the fact that you're really programming against a different uh, object model. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully you um, can give these features a little bit of a try. And uh, you know, as always, we would love all the feedback that you can get. So again, feel free to you know, uh, post comments on my blog or feel free to email me at samng at microsoft.com. Um, yeah, and as always, uh, have fun using these features and happy coding.